Hello friends. Today in this video I am going to be telling the story of the 2022 horror slasher film X. In this wild story, a group of young adults plan to shoot an adult film, hoping it'll propel them into stardom once released to the public. They rent out a property from an elderly couple Howard and his wife, Pearl. However the couple eventually catches on to what they're doing and the group finds themselves in a vicious fight for their survival. Who knew that two elderly people could be so dangerous? But director Wayne and his film crew are about to find out firsthand how vicious they are. Want to find out if anyone makes it out of this slasher alive and maybe a sequel could be coming? Well stick around to find out because spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The story begins with the local sheriff's office driving up to an old farmhouse that seems to have had some crazy intense murder spree happen as there are dead bodies everywhere throughout the house. The cops go through the house looking for any survivors and when they get to the basement, they see something crazy. But we as the audience are not shown what it is and the screen cuts to black. Next, the main character, Maxine, is introduced to us while doing a line of blow and she is dating Wayne who is a naughty film porn producer. Wayne, Maxine and a few others are heading to a barn rental they book so they can film their next movie which is titled The Farmer's Daughter. I think the title explains for itself what story they will be telling in their movie. Going with them on the trip is the star actress Bobby Lynn, the male actor Jackson, the movie director RJ and RJ's girlfriend Lorraine who is the sound girl. They seem to all get along with each other, but don't seem to be the closest of friends and they act how you would expect co-workers to act together, not best friends. While driving to their destination, they stop at a convenience store to get some gas and snacks and inside Maxine tells Wayne how she wants to be famous, and it is his job to make sure that happens. Wayne guarantees her that her wishes will come true, and they are going to hit big with this movie they are filming. We also see how much RJ likes directing films and he cares about the story being told, and is just using porn as a way into the film industry, as he really wants to become a real movie director. The gang gets back in the van and heads to the farmhouse that they will be staying at. They rented the place online and they rented a small barn that is behind the house and away from the actual farmhouse so the renters will not know what they are doing there. When Wayne goes up to the front door to check in, he is met with hostility by the man that lives the Howard. Wayne explains that they are the renters and aren't looking to cause any trouble and Howard remembers the booking after he hears this. When they get out of the van to head down to the barn, Maxine sees an extremely old lady in the window staring at them very weirdly. After they get settled in the house, they immediately begin their filming and getting down to business. While Bobby Lynn and Jackson are getting the deed done, Maxine goes outside to have a smoke and she sees a small pond nearby so she goes to check it out. Maxine takes off all of her clothes so she can take a dip in the pond and off in the distance is the old lady staring at her. An alligator sees her off in the distance and starts slowly swimming towards her and right when the gator is about to pull her under, she gets out of the pond and onto the dock. When Maxine starts walking back to the barn, she sees the old lady up at the house and waves at her. The old lady's name is Pearl and Pearl waves at her to come say hi so Maxine does just that. Maxine walks up and into the house and sits down to have a glass of lemonade with Pearl. Pearl shows Maxine some pictures of when she was younger and is trying to imply to Maxine that she was once a sexy, young girl as well and she is jealous that Maxine is that right now. Howard arrives back in his truck and Pearl tells Maxine to leave before she catches her inside and it will anger him. Maxine sneaks out of the back door and runs back down to the barn before Howard can catch her. Wayne then tells Maxine that her scene is up so they go off into the barn to film another scene of the Farmer's Daughter movie. As she is getting jiggy with Jackson in the scene, Pearl walks up to a window on the wall and sees what they are doing and this gets her very aroused and in the mood to get down. Pearl then goes back up to main house and tries seducing Howard so they can have some old people sex, but Howard sadly turns her down. Back down at the bar where the film crew is staying and everyone is asking Lorraine how she feels about shooting porn videos as they think she is a quiet little church girl that is only doing this because her boyfriend asked her to. Lorraine tells them she is fine with what they are doing and that sex is natural and they are just expressing that emotion. They don't believe that she is enjoying what they are doing so she tells them that she wants to be an actress in the movie as well. RJ is appalled to hear this and tells her that's it not happening, no matter what she says. Lorraine tells RJ that he doesn't control her, and if she wants to have sex on camera, she is going to have sex on camera. RJ asks to talk to Wayne outside and when they go out to talk, Wayne tries convincing RJ to let it happen and her innocent girl look would draw a lot of eyes to more viewers and that means more money in their pockets. RJ knows that he has been outvoted and now his girlfriend is going to have intercourse with Jackson and he is going to have to film it. Yeah, that's going to be a no from me dog if I were RJ. Jump to later that night and RJ is completely depressed by what just happened and he starts breaking down 
and bawling when he is in the shower while everyone else in the house is asleep. RJ gets so upset and grabs the keys to the truck and tries leaving them there with no transportation, but as he is about to drive off the property, he sees Pearl in the middle of the road so he can't drive out. RJ gets out and tries to help move her out of the way, and she tries kissing him and getting busy with him. RJ says no and this pisses Pearl off so she stabs him in the neck killing him. Oh boy, we got a murderous 80-year-old lady on our hands. To make it even weirder, after she gets done brutally murdering RJ, she dances in the headlights like she is a young girl again. She then grabs the keys out of the ignition and is not going to let anyone else try and leave in the truck. Lorraine then wakes up and realizes RJ isn't in bed so she gets out of bed and starts to look for him. She sees that the front door is wide open and the truck isn't where it was parked before so she begins to get worried. Wayne then walks out of the door as well and just tells Lorraine to let RJ be and he just needs room to cool off. They start walking around the property more and they see the van parked by the house so this eases Lorraine's worries a little bit. Howard then comes outside and he can't seem to find her wife either and asks Lorraine if she has seen her anywhere so they both are missing their significant others at the moment. Wayne goes looking in the same barn they filmed in and he hears something coming from outside so he looks out of the same peephole from earlier and he is stabbed through the eye by Pearl. Howard tells Lorraine that he believes they could be in his basement so he asks her to go down and look for him as he is old and after she starts walking down the stairs Howard shuts the door, locks her in and tells her that his wife is not well. Lorraine starts looking around the basement, and out of nowhere she sees a naked man chained up against the wall dead as can be. Next person to wake up is Jackson, and he walks outside and sees Howard as well with a shotgun, and asks him what he is doing out at night with a shotgun, and Howard tells him he is looking for his wife. Jackson says he will help and after Jackson leaves the barn house, Pearl sneaks into the room that Maxine is sleeping in and takes off her clothes so she can get in bed with Maxine. Pearl, with bloody hands and all, starts caressing Maxine and even tries to big spoon her. Howard and Jackson are looking for Pearl around the same pond as earlier, and when Jackson isn't looking, Howard points the shotgun at him and shoots him dead. The gunshot wakes up Maxine and Bobby Lynn and Maxine is surprised as hell to see Pearl lying in bed with her touching all up on her. Maxine freaks out and yells at Pearl to get out of the barn rental. Pearl then walks over to the pond area where she is greeted by Bobby Lynn where Pearl tells Bobby Lynn that she is a slut and then she shoves her into the pond to be attacked and eaten by the gators. Pearl is ruthless. Maxine and Lorraine are the only ones out of the film crew that are still alive and after Maxine finishes cleaning off all of Pearl's blood, she notices Pearl and Howard walking towards the barn with a shotgun and she realizes that these two oldies are a bunch of murderers and are taking out them one by one like they are Jason Voorhees. Maxine hides under the bed and once inside, Howard and Pearl sit down to tell each other no matter how old and ugly they get, they will always love each other and are each other's soul mates. Pearl then tells Howard to show her how much he still loves her, and they lay down to get jiggy with it. While Howard is pumping his rocket, Maxine crawls out from underneath the bed and runs out of the house to the van where she sees that the tires have been slashed. Maxine hears Lorraine from the cellar and tries to go break her out so they can escape together. Maxine unlocks the door and Lorraine starts storming out trying to run away without thinking and as she runs out the front door, she is shot dead by Howard's shotgun. Maxine is freaking out and knows that she is the only one left standing. As Howard is carrying her body inside, he has a heart attack and Pearl starts freaking out. Maxine sees this as her opportunity to force Pearl to give her the keys to Howard's truck. Pearl quickly reacts when Maxine is grabbing the keys and shoots the shotgun at her, but misses and the recall is so strong that Pearl gets flown backwards out of the house. Maxine then walks out of the house with the keys, gets in the truck and runs over Pearl's head and drives off of the property alive. We then jump to the beginning of the movie where the cops are trying to figure out exactly what took place here. That is how this one ends. Thanks for watching.